The regular season has come to an end for the Bismarck State Mystics with some mixed results. The BSC men and women hosted Lake Region State College for their respective regular season finales. Up first, the women's game. Here we are over at the Armory at BSC. The Royals are going to open the scoring as uh, Tiana Trottier hops her way to two points. Here are the Mystics passing their way around the perimeter. Here's Carly Lawrence from deep. Bang, BSC is on the board. Now here come the Royals right back with it. That's Brooke Kleining with it. She's gonna find Arden Faulkner. She's gonna hit a three ball of her own. Another big shot there for the Royals. And here's Nicole Lillard. She's gonna hit from deep here. And the Royals just really making the Mystics pay from deep. The Royals are going to win this one 81 to 69. Now over we go to the men's side. Again at the Armory here in the first half, here's Genuine Tronis. He's going to hook it in as the Royals take an early lead. And uh, we don't appreciate defense nearly enough on this show. So here's Tronis again. He's going to come flying in here. Here he comes. Bang. Rejected. Big block there as the Royals guard their lead. And the Mystics are going to turn the ball over here. Here comes Noah Bonick. Going to get the steal and the basket, 28-23 to 23 Royals. And BSC is going to need a bucket here. Here's Garrett Bader going into the teeth of the defense. He's going to find Kenneth Bozeman, who hits the triple. And that is going to be a pretty big one. BSC is going to win this one by three in double overtime, 89-86. to 86. Now over we go to UTTC, Wildcats versus Thunderbirds. Near the end of the first half, Wildcats down by four. Here's Jordan Toman with a big three-pointer, cuts the lead to one. Less than a minute to go in the half. Ariana Berryhill moving in, gets the and one through contact as the Wildcats take the lead. Now here we go to the second half. The Thunderbirds are going to be down by six. Tylee Brady fades away, gets the mid-range two with a woman in her face. And now here we go. United Tribes again down by six. Right off the inbound, Jenna Sanders hits McKenna Kulmo, who nails the three. And the SCS wins this one, 76-59. And uh, Dickinson State's men and women's basketball teams both played in the semifinals of the North Star Athletic Association Championships today. Some mixed results. It was a better day for the DSU men. The Blue Hawks beat Mayville State 71 to 59 and will play Bellevue in the final next Sunday. Over in Botano, the Lumberjacks fell to Williston State 84 to 50. On the women's side, the Blue Hawks lost their NSAA semifinal to Dakota State 72 to 50, and the Williston State women won their game against DC Botano 72 to 63. UMary Baseball was in Minnesota today and fell to Minnesota State 18 to 8. The Marauders and Mavericks ended up splitting that four-game series with two wins apiece, and Minot State took on Concordia and lost 10 to 6 in Game 2 of today's doubleheader. The UTTC men also ended their regular season with a loss after falling to NDSCS 87-71. Before today's loss, the Thunderbirds had won four straight, and they finished the regular season 15-12 with a 12-9 conference record. The penultimate boys basketball Class A and Class B polls were released earlier today. In Class A, not much has changed. All five teams in the top five remain at their previous spots with Kindred on top with all 16 first place votes. Down in Class B, once again, not a lot changes here. North Star leads the pack with 10 first place votes, with Glen Olin Hebron and Bishop Ryan getting four and two votes respectively. After being tied at number nine in the last poll, Linton HMB inches just ahead of Sargent County, who sits behind them at number 10. We'll be right back. <laughs> 